couldn't care less about weak ass Pokemon. <laughs> weak Pokemon can just go out of here. What a dick. Like, literally, and he's not a good dick either. He's one of those dicks that, that you just don't want to have around. Like, he's an asshole. He's a dick in a asshole. Oh. <laughs> Get it? No, no. no. What's up, guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to continue on to Violet City. Let's play Pokemon Lunatic Crystal! It's kind of weird saying that though. Lunatic Crystal? Is this game insane? Well, if you think about what's going to happen late game, yeah, it is It is kind of lunatic worthy. Yeah, it, it, it is insane in the membrane. But since the last episode, I did get some new teammates. I did get me a Geodude on Mountain Route 46. Caught me a um, um a hoot hoot on Route 29 at night, and I caught me a Poliwag on um, Route 30. You can only find Poliwag at night, so there you go. On, in Pokemon Crystal on Route 30, so yeah, Poliwag, Water type, plus it has access to Hypnosis early, so getting that now is good. And oh yeah, my Pichu that I caught in the last episode, it evolved into Pikachu. Yes, Peekaboo. It evolved into P um Pikachu at level 10, as I talked about yet um last time. So yeah, I guess like when it comes to like evolution as far as Pichu into Pikachu, yeah, Pichu evolves at level 10. So there you go. And now we know, and knowing is only half the battle. But let's get this berry all the same. Noise. Now as far as the Pokemon that are new here on Route 30, um not a lot of changes. Um, in the morning and during the day, we got Ladybug, we got Caterpie, Weedle, Metapod, Ladybug, Hoppip, and Pidgey. So yeah, not much of a big change since, um, since, you know, OG Crystal. It's just the levels are a bit higher, slightly. But now that we're done Professor Elm's errand, we can now start some trainer battles. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak? It's your weak ass drip and shit. <laughs> ah! Come on, let's battle. Hey, <laughs> anyone who insults my drip has to get put on the floor. No, literally, if you insult the drip, you, your ass has to be dropped on the floor hard. And by hard, I mean rock hard. You dude! And yet, yeah, this shield dude is a male, unlike the one that I had in my um. Recent, um, one of my recent Stadium 2 episodes. How can a female, how can there be a female deal? You know what, I'm, I'm not even questioning. I, I'm not, I, I'm not going into it. So, Diego, just get out the way! Damn! <laughs> now, this guy, Youngster Joey, well, he's the meme of, of Gen 2. But, um, yeah, that's the thing. His Rattata is normally weak as shit, but not in Lunatic Crystal. See, you notice how long it took just for Geodude to take the bitch down? I had to literally fast forward because it was taking forever. For me. But, yeah, can I get your phone number? You so powerful. I want to ring you up for some battles. Alright. I'm a rookie, too, so I think it'll be a good motivator. Alright. Cool, we got Joey's number. Noise. Now, when you register carrot on um, trainers in your Poke, and I was about to say Poke Nam, in your Poke Gear, <laughs> um, they will occasionally call you for battles, rematches. So it's like a weaker version of the Verse Seeker, except you don't have to charge it up, and they can just call you whenever. Sometimes they may not call you for rematches. They might just call you just to say, "Hey, brah, what's up, dude?" Girl, what's up? Oh my gosh. Did you see Larry at the mall? Oh my gosh, he is so hot. You, you, shit like that, viewers. Shit like that. They will call you for random shit like that. Take note, this trainer here did not have a hoot hoot in, um, in gold, silver, and crystal. 
So yeah, another new change. The trend, some of the trainers have gotten new Pokemon, the levels, and yeah, I've, I think I mentioned this in the last episode. Move, bitch. There you go. But the level, but we have level caps now in Lunatic Crystal. So like I said, the level cap at the moment is level 15. So that means once once my Pokemon get up to level 15, um, that's it. They can't get any more levels until um we beat the next major trainer coming up. So there you go. Hence why we have to go to Sprout Tower first and stuff. You probably say why Sprout Tower though? Aren't we normally supposed to just go right to the gym? Well, like I said, the gyms are a little bit. I want to say topsy-turvy for the first three gems. You'll see what I mean soon enough. There you go. Isn't fast forward lovely? <laughs> Woohoo! Rock throw gets! It's at times like this that you definitely want to have a Geo dude Because you're, you're going to need some rock hard power. Trust me, you're going to need that coming up because the next major trainer that we need to break the level cap is stronger than you remember from the old games. Polyboo! Let's get some action. Bubble attack! To beat your ass with bubbles, that is just a sad thing. Oh yeah, and Slugma, for some odd reason, I think Slugma is part rock. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Now, yeah, I try hitting it with, like, tackle and stuff like that. It, it's, like, not very effective. So that means that Slugma is fire slash rock already. And normally, it doesn't get part rock status until it evolves into Macargo. So, yeah, I guess the figures... No, we might as well just give it rock now. So, there you go. Hooray! But, yeah, that's the power of the EXP shear that we got from Professor Elm last time. It works just like it did back in Gen 6 in, in the XY games. Even if your Pokemon don't participate in the battle, they will still get EXP. So, there you go. It's awesome sauce. Alright, now, um... Got some, um, some, another bug trainer coming up. Put Pikachu in the front. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, I don't know why they even put that, that blue here bitch there. Every time I play the gold, silver, and crystal games, I never really question why that bitch is there. Like, why are you even here? She's just a rando trainer that's just there that just tells you, Oh, I I'm not a trainer, but if you like eyes with a trainer, you best prepare your ass. Face down, ass up. Yeah, pretty much. Like, like, we can see that they aggro us on sight. Bitch, like, why are you here? Why did they feel the need to put your ass on this roof and you not going, you know, put out? Huh? If I put out, I mean battle, that is. The shock! Oh, yeah. Isn't it so awesome having Pikachu this early in the game? Damn, it's like Gen 1 all over again. Remember, like, in, in Fire Relief Green, catching Pikachu in the Viridian Forest? Or even in yellow, just having Pikachu right at the start and just pissed off at your ass. Like, that professor just caught me in the wild. He just tossed a random ass Pokeball at me, caught me, and then gave me to some rando, tra rando newbie trainer that just got started. And you expect me to listen to your ass? <laughs> it's no wonder Ash's Pikachu was so disobedient when they first met each other at the beginning of the anime. It's like, bruh, bruh, I was enjoying myself with this old ass man comes and fucking captures me in a Pokeball. And stuff. Who the fuck are you? Like, I can understand that though. It's like, bruh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying life and I'm tossed into a fucking miniature baseball. Like, bruh, give me a break. <laughs> Pokemon got it rough, honestly. Like, they get no freedom. It's kind of sad, actually. But, yeah. You're strong. Uh, huh? Siege! Yes! The final 
Digital transformation? Uh, no, no. Get him, buddy. All right! Quilava! Good job, CG bud. Yes. Like I said, um, oh yeah, now that I think about it, is the fighting type changed now or is it later? Let me see. Nope, nope. It's not so Typhlosion status. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. But, yeah, like I said, all the Johto starters in their in their final forms, well, it's confirmed now. In their final forms, they get, you know, new typings and stuff. Like I said, when Quilava evolves into Typhlosion later on, um, it'll get part fighting traits. So, it's kind of like how the, gen, how the fire types after Gen 3 or Gen 3 onwards were. So, yeah, fire slash fighting. And then, of course, for Alligator will be Water Slash Dark. Water Slash Dank. So, there you go. Move, bitch! There you go. And, of course, um, like I said, Meganium, Chikorita's final form, Grass Slash Dragon. So, those that shit on Chikorita a lot, you're gonna look really stupid in this game. Oh, oh Chikorita's weak as shit. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, it goes over and crystal. I will admit, Chikorita is complete ass. But, um, in Lunatic Crystal, nah, bruh. I think you might want to give Chikorita another go. I mean, it's part dragon. Grass slash dragon. That is just. How does such a combination even work? Hmm. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Huh. Yeah, I wish we could light it up. Well, let's go check it out all the same. Let's go check out. Damn, it is dank as fuck in here. And I thought Rock Tunnel was dank as shit. Holy cow. I can't even see a thing. At least in red, blue, and yellow, even though it was dank as fuck in Rock Tunnel without Flash, you can still see some of the rock formations. And Gen 2, if it's dark in here, you can't see shit. But here's one thing that they don't tell you. Watch. It's very brief. But when you go into your menu and stuff like that, it'll briefly light up. Briefly. Now, slow it down frame by frame on YouTube. Watch. You notice, as soon as that, that white flash hits, whenever I go to the Pokemon menu right here, yeah, yeah that flash, you can see where you're going. Not, not exactly, but it gives you just a little bit of light and leeway, so that way you can see where the fuck you're going. It's awesome. Speaking of which, what time is it now? Ten. Ah, this is perfect! That means the Pokemon I'm looking for can be caught right now. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, that's not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Let's see if I can find it. Come on, bitch. No. How does a female Geodude even work? Like, why? It, it makes no sense to me. Ugh. Come on, where are you? I'm not- There you are! Ha-ha! <laughs> Stay there! Now! Pokeball, go! Come on. Yes! Woohoo! Teddy Ursa, get to those A! Very fucking nice. Woo! And Ted- And oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, but whenever you catch Pokemon, just like Gen 6, Whenever you catch Pokemon, you still get EXP after the capture. Cool, isn't it? Let's check it out. Teddy Ursa, little bear Pokemon. It always licks its, it always licks honey. Okay. <laughs> its palm tastes sweet because of all the honey it has absorbed. <laughs> oh, this honey is so good. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Teddy Ursa is essentially a teddy bear. But no, 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 when Teddy Ursa evolves into Ursa Ring, it ain't no teddy bear no, no more. It is Yogi on crack. No, literally, it is Yogi on crack. That is... <laughs> Imagine Yogi Bear on crack. That is what Teddy Ursa is. So I'm gonna call him Ted. 
And no, I'm not talking. I'm not trying to reference the movie and shit like that. No, it is. It's 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 a fucking teddy bear. But in any case, Teddy Ursa is a normal type and stuff like that. I don't think they give him any type changes in, in Lunatic Crystal. But yeah, to start off with Lick, Lick is a ghost type move that has a chance of paralysis. You can only find Teddy Ursa in the Dark Cave entrance of Violet. There are two sections of Dark Cave. One on the Violet side and, and another one that's near the 8th Gem Town. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, we'll be going through the, the other section of Dark Cave later on in the game. So don't worry about it right now. That being said though, get this Pokeball. Cool, that makes up for the one I used on Teddy Ursa. Nice. But yeah, you can only find Teddy Ursa in the mornings and date in the afternoons in Dark Cave. You can't find it at night, so good luck trying to find it, but you won't find it. So there you go. Now, as far as the other Pokemon in there, besides Shieldu, we got Dunsparce, which is completely worthless. Um, we got Zubat, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, don't expect to be getting a whole lot in, in, in Dank Cave right now. Of course, the only good Pokemon in there is Teddy Ursa. Ah! So, yeah. Is that it? Huh, whatever. Panko said, uh, Huh? He will true his. Wow, what a bitch. Huh. Well, I guess I'm gonna be a bitch then, because I'm gonna switch. <laughs> Switching up. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, go to town, because we're gonna need a flying type. Yeah, get pumped, bitch! Ow! I don't like needles. You can stop now! There you go. Bruh! It's like I'm playing Stadium 2 right now! Move! There you go. Yeah, bring that B bitch back out! Yeah, I forgot to mention this, but they like switching a lot in, in, in Lunatic Crystal. The trainers will literally switch their Pokemon out. So it's, it's as if you're playing a Stadium game in this game cool, isn't it? I like the mechanics in this game. I like it rough. And they make it rough for you. And they're going to make it even rougher for you. So I hope you like it rough, viewers, because you're going to get it rough. Rough! Ow! You! Bitch! Hiding away in your little fucking beehive. <laughs> nice! Good job. Good job, team. And oh yeah, they buffed up the trainer EXP in this game too. Not a whole lot, but it's enough. It's enough. Cool. Alright. Thank you, Wade. Good battle. Good battle. Yeah, no, I, I don't want your berries. But I will but I will take your number though. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, as far as the Pokemon on Route 31 here, not a whole lot of difference. But you can catch um, Mareep here um, with a 20% chance. Yes, you heard me right. Mareep in Pokemon Crystal? <gasps> yes, you can catch Mareep in Lunatic Crystal. But you cannot catch it in OG Crystal. For some odd fucking reason. Why did they get rid of Mareep in, in Crystal? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand that shit. But okay, whatever. It's in Lunatic Crystal, so that's all that matters to me. But yeah, if you want an early electric type, if you don't want to get Pichu, you can get Mareep as soon as you get to this to Route 31. But yeah, Violet City! Noise. This is where normally the first gym would be. Hmm, I collect Pokemon. Do you have Bellsprout? You want to trade it for my Rhyhorn? A slow-ass Rhyhorn? Hell nah. You don't want it? Oh, damn. Well, too bad. In, in the OG Gold Silver Crystal, you could trade him a, a Bell Sprout for an Onyx. I, I think, now I think about it, what was this Onyx's name? I think it was, was it Rocky? I think? Not, uh, not to be confused with the, uh, you know, the actual Rocky from the movies. So, yeah. I'm afraid you will have to leave now. <laughs> but yeah, Valkner is not available. Valkner being the gym leader here in Violet City. Now, we detour all the way up here. We go up to Route 36. 
Now, in Pokemon Crystal, they added grass onto this route. Because in Gold and Silver, there were no grass here. Now, in the grass here on Route 36, you can get some really sexy-ass Pokemon. Like Growlithe! For example, and Growlithe and Arcanine is actually pretty good in Lunatic Crystal. So if you don't get Cyndaquil at the start, I recommend catching Growlithe because he will be your earliest fire type to catch here. So, there you go. And I don't want to hear about it if it evolves either. Please, I... Radicate. Radicate can burn in hell for all I care. God, I... Ah! Oh, wait, 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 yeah. I want to fight all these Sage Trainers. Most of the Sage Trainers inside Sprout Tower have, well, Bell Sprouts. So, yeah, good luck with that. You can loop yourself around the, the tower and stuff. The route, the path to get to the top of the tower is not hard. It's just, it goes in, like, a loop formation. It is simple as fuck, so I'll meet you at the top. All right, viewers of Mac. Whew, man. On screen, I did some more level grinding on Route 36. As well as fighting the trainers here on um here in Sprout Tower. And I got all of my teammates up to level 15. Didn't even take long at all. Like I said, extra EXP. Thanks to the EXP share. Mwah. You see, it's already more useful than it was back in Gen 6. Because in Gen 6, it wasn't really that necessary. <laughs> it was helpful though, because it prevented extra time level grinding. But, well, there you go. That being said, though, I equipped everybody outside of Tau with, um, <laughs> Tau, get it? But, yeah, I equipped everybody with berries because we're going to need berries, a lot of them. This this next guy is not as easy as you think. Uh, Silver, you are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. <laughs> Fuck off, old man. Says Silver, that is. Not me. Huh. He claims to be the elder, but he's weak. Just like you. Ew. It stands to reason. I never lose the fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. Hence why I kicked your ass. Cough. That being said, though, I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak-ass Pokemon. <laughs> Big Pokemon can just go! Out of here! What a dick! Like, literally, and he's not a good dick either. He's one of those dicks that... That... You just don't want to have around. Like, he's an asshole. He's a dick in a asshole. Oh. <laughs> Get it? No, no, no. But, you know, there you go. Hey, dude! Uh, oh yeah, I might want. I, I keep forgetting this. Save state. <laughs> Trust me on this. You want to save state. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. How are your Pokemon already fully healed after that thrashing you just got from Silver, and yet you're ready to take me on? Are you hexed? You won't know unless you battle. Cause it's time for a boss fight! Yeah, you heard me right. Boss fight. Versus Elder Lee. And he actually looks like an elder, unlike the sage dude from Gold Silver and Crystal. No, they make it so the elder is just like the one back in Heart Gold and, uh, and Soul Silver. Yeah, he's an elder. He's the head dude here. He's the head old Krillin. So, there you go. Everybody here is a Krillin clone. So, yeah, except they're not as spawned. Under SHOCK! Now take note, Elder Lee is a hell of a lot stronger than he was back in um, OG Gold Silver and Crystal. In the OG games, he was pitiful. He was just a little bit stronger compared to all the other monks that we fought already in the tower. So, you know, there you go. But yeah, his hoodoo is easily dealt with if you use Pikachu or Mareep. So you just thundershock that damn bird to death. It, it's, it's, it's that easy. However, the problem now is facing off against his Furret. And his Furret is by far the most annoying Pokemon on his team. For example, it has access to Swift. And at this point in the game, Swift is like way overpowered. Literally. So what I want to do is paralyze the bitch, use my berry, heal up, 
And then you sweet kiss. Uh what? Bruh. Okay, I almost forgot he had quick attack. Oof on me then. That was my B. Whatever, I have a remedy for that. Deal, dude! Yeah, no, it don't matter if he has swift or quick attack, because it won't mean shit to a uh, deal, dude. However, the problem here, though, is that Furret has much slap as well. See? So he has an answer to to Jill dude as well. So yeah, I'm gonna have to switch again. Uh, luckily he's paralyzed, so we won't have to worry too much. But still, it's getting on my nerves. Double slap that bitch! There you go. And by double slap, I mean bitch slap. <laughs> Damn. Bruh, dude, that's a a gold berry? Really? And I just got a regular ass berry. That's sad. <laughs> Ow! Look, you see how his his fucking furret is a menace. It is a fucking menace. It takes a menace to take down a menace. Siege! Yeah. Ember this bitch there. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. I can't use items. <laughs> yeah, and these in and, and Lunatic Crystal, you are forbidden from using items in battle. So it's like it's like a um Isn't that how like Nuzlocke challenges are and stuff like that? Like you can't use items in battle. I know that in like I know some of my dry breads um Pokemon runs, he does he can't use items in battle and stuff, so uh, is this similar? Cause I, it's, I haven't really, I, I never done a Nuzlocke challenge. I might consider that in the future, though. That being said, though, Geo Dude is the only one that can take out this bitch. Wow, that took forever. But it got done, so that's all that matters. The problem now is that now we have fucking Bell Sprout and the Pokemon that can take him down. Oh wait, I got Tao. I almost forgot. Switch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, damn. Put it sleep! Yeah. His bell sprout has sludge. I know, right? That's. Bell sprout should not have sludge. Why did I use tackle? There you go. Yeah, his bell sprout is really annoying. And we're not done! Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Pikachu's gonna smoke me. Ow! Ha! <laughs> Didn't smoke me enough, though. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get KO, but I'm still gonna be taking you down. Or at least get in a little bit of damage before I get taken out. So, there you go. Alright, now, Geodude can handle the rest. Geodude, take this bitch out, baby. Sweet kiss! Motherfucker! Damn it! There you go. Alright, we're not done yet, because now we got Polyrath. Uh, and Hoodoo is knocked out. Son of a bitch. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Ted, it's up to you! You're the only one that can take him out, buddy. Kick his ass! Huh? Bruh, really? Really? Whatever. Fury Swipes! How did it miss? That's the oh, that's the last one I had. Oh, that's not fair. Can I paralyze it at least? Really? Really? Are you serious? He I actually lost. All my Pokémon are at the level cap and I still lost. Wow. Looks like I'm going to have to redo my strategy. Let me try that again. Our viewers of Mac won the last one. His Pikachu now. Can I succeed? Well, what do you mean it didn't affect Pikachu? That's some bull- Nah, that's BS. How does it not affect a Pikachu? That's some bullshit. Double slap! There you go. Pip slap that bitch! Uh, uh, bruh. 
Okay, it's up to Noctowl now. I need to get it to sleep. Can I do it? Yes. All right, now I have to tackle it down. Oh, shit. Noctowl, go! Yes! Did it! Woohoo! Elderly, that is good game. I did like four attempts. Ah, excellent. Damn, he was strong. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. And even after all of that shit, we still get the same reward, just like in the OG games. Wow. But yeah, at least at least we have Flash now. But to use it out outside of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Bruh. Are you... Uh, oh, what's up, Mom? I found something useful while shopping. I brought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. Hmm. What did she get me? Hmm. Well, let's find out with our pocket PC. Let's see. Sorry, Elder. I'm just going to check my computer in front of you, brah. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see what she got. Oh, it's just a super potion. I'll take it, though. Because at this point in the game, that is just as useful. Alright, we can get out of here now. You can purchase some escape ropes from the Pokemon here in town. So, hint, hint. Of course, you get a freebie there. Oh, what's up, Professor? Hello, Mike. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could I get you to talk to him? Uh, I. Hmm. What did they discover? What's different from this egg? And it looks like Valkner is still not here. So now that Val now that we defeated Sprout Tower, Valkner's still not here. I guess we'll have to make our way to Azalea Town after getting that egg. Next time! And let's play Pokemon Lunatic Crystal. You guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for, gaming, for more gaming bits from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, my rage break game and open rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.